Jeremy Sockman here today with a look at a movie that might have a curse in the title, but most definitely won't damn you. It's Down the Defiant, starring Alec Guinness from 1962. This one might be about a boat, but is it taking on water? Let's take a look. Obi-Wan himself plays Captain Crawford, in charge of the frigate HMS Defiant during the Napoleonic Wars. They round up some new crew, including his son, and set sail on a mission for king and country. Unfortunately for the captain, his first officer, Mr. Scott Paget, is a bit of a dick. They disagree on discipline, the amount of whippings people deserve, even on their orders. But while all of this is going on, the crew is getting a bit mutinous. They're ready to strike for better wages. That's a flogging for sure. Now we get some good old-fashioned naval combat when the Defiant gets into it with a French ship, and they capture the crew and the boat. When the captain sends his son away with the prize, Scott Paget gets confined to quarters. Uh-oh, there's another ship battle. This one takes out the captain, but Scott Paget wins the day and causes a mutiny. The captain, now one arm less, tries to calm the waters, but whoops, one of the crew kills Scott Paget. It's only when they face a French fire ship en route to destroying the fleet's flagship that, spoiler alert, the crew save the day and the fleet-wide strike works out with the captain one proud amputee bring her about mr ponsonby we join the squadron aye aye sir stand by to go about thank you mr crawford now, if you like your movie set on water, with lots of cannon fire and floggings, then Down the Defiant is definitely for you. But if you are also someone wondering the best way to treat subordinates, then it's doubly the one for you. That's convenient. You see, Down the Defiant shows two different ways of managing people. The kindly Captain Crawford way, or the nasty Scott Paget path. And which one does it advocate? Crawford blindly follows fleet's orders, even when the evidence shows it's not a good idea. He's soft on the crew, and they were planning to mutiny anyway. His blunders end up getting a lot of men killed and costing him his saluting arm. Youch! You may have the power of life and death over every man aboard this ship, sir. But I warn you, if we come through this voyage safely... Yes? If? ...to have followed Admiralty instructions may not be quite enough. Then you have Scott Paget. Yeah, he's a jerk and a little quick to flog, but he's the one who reads the situation correctly, knowing that sailing to Corsica is going right into the French's hands. He's also the one who gets right in the middle of the sword fighting and conquers not one, but two ships. His bravery, badassery, and quick thinking save the day and lives. And what does he get? A mutiny and shot. Double youch. You've done extremely well. Thank you, sir. At this moment, all I want to do is thrash you and clap you in irons. So what we have here is a situation where the nice guy messes up and loses an arm, but the dickhead saves the day and dies. So I guess it comes down to damn if you do, damn if you don't. In other words, being a manager isn't worth it at all. Better to just put your head down and do the menial work instead of getting involved with dealing with the ungrateful rank and file like yourself. Those types are never happy. Talk about an anti-labor and anti-management message. I know the value of discipline as well as you do. Discipline is all that matters, sir. It's never all that matters, Mr. Scott Paget, but it can exist even rigidly in a happy ship. And if he gets into mischief, he must be punished. I'm going to be as lenient as I may. Two dozen lashes. So in the end, while Dan the Defiant might succeed in turning a few people away from pursuing a career in upper management, it's the negative view on the ones who do the dirty jobs themselves that confuses the issue here. Managing sucks, the workers are unruly, and ready to revolt at the drop of a hat. So I guess we should all just get flogged? I'm Jeremy Sockman, giving the Lost at Sea message behind Damn the Defiant a hard pass. I only insist on carrying out my orders. Well, we've done our best. Carry on. Stand by to witness punishment. You know, in our business, bloody Scott Paget was the best friend we had. I'm not a leader of men, since I prefer to follow. Do you think I could ever dream?